Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I'm just doing a quick video just to share with you guys a couple projects that I um, just finished for a custom order for a client of mine. And um, she saw the altered pen and uh, pencil holders that I made for myself. If you um, do a search on my YouTube channel, um, I think it was altered pen holders or pen cups. I can't remember what I called it. Um, anyway, and you're going to see that I did a trio of uh, th uh, three for myself, and then she saw them on my Facebook and my blog and asked if I would make some for her. So I did. So these are just kind of um, the colors and themes that she was kind of looking for. Um, I was able to take some creative freedom with this, which is always something I love to do um, as well, but also trying to keep in mind with what she would like as well. So let me go ahead and share with you the first one. I'll pull this one off to the side. The first one is... Um, you know just some purple paper that I had this actually came in like a really long like almost like a um, a girlfriend of mine from quite some time ago gave me a bunch of different um, papers along with some hand uh, handmade papers and mulberry papers and this was huge I mean this is like a poster size sheet and I just had you know just enough left to use on this project plus a tiny bit more for um, you know a card or something like that so this is the paper that I used for the first one I don't like I said I don't know I don't think it came from like an actual um you know, paper company like, you know, Graphic 45, not, obviously it's not them, but you know what I'm saying, not some name, mainstream company. It came from a specialty paper shop, so I don't know where it came from. I've had it for quite some time. And then um, for the flower, I've been making these crepe paint flowers for quite some time, the crepe paper. I have a tutorial on how to make them, but this is the crepe paper I use, which I purchased from Mona Me Gabby. And then for the little centers you'll see here, these are some purple glass beads. I picked these up from Drew Scott's Etsy store, Hot Hop Scotch Crafts. Apologize for that, you guys. And they're purple. And what I did is I just, um, after I made the flower, I inked the edges with some um, Dusty Concord ink from Tim Holtz. This is some um, Maya Road white trim. I'll show this to you right here. It's off the spool right here, in case you guys are wondering. It's the quarter inch cloud white um, ribbon, velvet ribbon. It's very pretty and I thought it went really well with the rest of the project and you can still faintly see through the print on the paper which I thought was really cool. So I clustered, after I made the flower and inked it, um, I clustered up some of those glass beads in the center just using some glossy accents. I thought that was kind of a fun idea, um, something different than just the, no, uh, the normal button or you know, um, big bling type of object in the center. Plus it gives it some more dimension. So when it's on her desk, wherever she chooses to display this, you know, from the side, you can see the flower, the cluster. I think this is really cute. And I'm actually going to make one for me too, because I think it's so pretty. I love purple. Anyway, so this is just, you know, Avery um, pen, um, pencil holder and you can see the texture. You can get it in brown and, and then white. And I got it in white and, you know, I just kind of did that for. So there's the first one. The second one, she had just kind of asked for it to have a cross on it, and that kind of threw me for a loop uh, at first because I'm so used to making most of the components, you know, like the flowers and different things like that. So I was like, well, gosh, I wonder if I should just, you know, go, I guess, go buy or look for a cross, which is what I did because I didn't want it. I was going to try to make one myself out of some different things, but I just wanted to make sure I got the order to her in a timely fashion. So for this one, I used, um, I can't, I think this is. I got this from Julie um, uh, Renee Murray off of her Facebook page. I think it might be my mind's eye, or I'm not sure. I cut the strips off the bottom, but if this is the paper I used for this one. I thought it went really well with just the cross. It's just a really nice, pretty color. And then I used some vintage uh, trim that I had, and what I did to make it look like this, and I'll put it on a piece of white so you can see it a little bit better. It was just this really nice cream, and what I did is I used a combination of two different types of Lindy's uh, sprays from Lindy's Stamp Gang, and I'm going to have a blog post for this as well, so I'll have a full description of um, all the products and everything in my blog post, so if you guys want to check that out, it's scrappin-abby.blogspot.com. I'll try to get the post done before I air the video, that way you guys can, you know, go right to my blog and read about it. So again, it is the same thing, just, you know, the same kind of um, pen um, holder, pencil holder, and it's just the paper, you know, I cut it down to fit where some of the white was showing through, wrap that vintage trim all the way around, um, just so it was really pretty, and then this is the cross I picked up just at you know, um, one of the local craft stores and stuff. I thought it was really pretty cross. It's got some bling on it. And that made me feel like I didn't really need to do a lot to flourish or embellish the front of this. I just didn't want it to be just a plain cross, which is pretty in itself, of course, but I just thought this really dressed it up. And I just liked how it looked against that paper. And for the ink on this one, I used the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. So those are my two altered pen or pencil holders, whatever you want to call them. I think they're 
I don't know if they're called pencil cups or pen holders on um, the website I bought them from when you buy them online, but it's just Avery. It's the Martha Stewart line with Avery for office supplies. So those are the items, and I'm really excited for my friend um, to get these, and I'm always very grateful for her. She's a, um, a loyal client um, slash friend of mine, so I really appreciate her business and helping me um, earn extra moolah for more crafty items. And um, anyway, so there's that. If you guys have any questions or you know, um, any, you know, on the, how I did these or whatever, just give me a, um, I was, I almost said, give me a call. I meant to say, <laughs> send me an email at scrappinabby at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment or question in the description, you know, underneath the video. And then it notifies me to my phone. So I know right away when somebody asks a question or posts a comment or something. So let me know if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer them. Other than that, I am going to go ahead and in the video, my husband's coming home any moment and I um, I wanted to get it done before he walked in and made a lot of noise. So anyway, <laughs> thanks guys. I'll see you later and happy crafting.